All right, aside from this radio for $71, I found some other interesting radios on here. Let's <clears throat> see if they'll pop up on here. Um, this radio, they say, avoid the 1702. It's not programmable with uh, the OpenGD. We do have the RT3S uh, radio. It's 74. Um, you have this one for 105 some of these mobile ones. Um, Ninety-five dollars for that one. One thirty-six for that. Uh, we showed this one and the other video for fifty bucks, but no cable. Slow boat shipping too. Um, this one is eighty-nine dollars, and I really like this radio, uh, but um, mine has GPS and I've never really used it. They are these kind. Uh, I don't know about this K Sun one. It looks kind of reminds me of the Alinko radio. But the main thing with these kind of radios is I found that it's kind of better to stick with the popular ones because they don't have so much trouble figuring things out. Um, yeah, this one apparently has GPS. Um, 1702. There's a newer, uh, I don't know, this actually might support the other one, but um, it looks more kind of like that, actually. Looks a lot like that. Uh, but you don't have as much stuff. So I'll try and put a link to that in there in case you're curious, but it probably wouldn't be my recommendation. They've got some of these Retivas radios. I think these would be pretty cool. Uh, 187 is pretty good from uh, the regular 234. So I'll try and put a, a link to that. I know people like that radio. Um, I have never seen these. These are kind of cool. This is the one that people said is really bad. The 1801. And people thought it was better than the 1701 because it had a higher number. But they said, wow, it's really bad. So, um, basically, that's a good one to stay away from. Um, I am not seeing this radio that showed up a little while ago um, on my search. Um, I don't know what these are. It was a new Bofang. Brand new. Never seen it before. Um... This is also another DMR radio that's popping up. I don't know. It's too new, too new to know if it's going to be any good. I wish you could buy a Motorola. Okay, so... 191 for this one. It's the Ray Dottity DB25. It's a little bit different than the other one I just showed you. This is the Retivas. They're a little different. I don't know which one's better. The price is pretty close. Let me see if I can find that new Bofang. Here's a GMRS radio. Don't know if it's any good. Ray Dottity. It should be type accepted. Uh, they're not really. I haven't really seen any good deals. Um, in fact, technically speaking, the radio that I bought. Um, wasn't even really um, on sale. It wasn't like a special deal. So we do have this one is on sale again, the um, 470X. Uh, I have that one. It's not like super on sale, but it's cheaper than it was. Uh, this one here is probably locked. Probably don't want to buy that. And uh, don't know anything about these. $19 GMRS radio. It's a pretty good price if you want to buy one of those. A lot of these older Bofangs, there's just no point in buying these anymore. Like, why would you buy one? Like this, $28? No. Um, another GMRS radio. That's expensive, too. Cobra 29 for 119 I'm not seeing it. Um, let me just go in here and see if I can... Uh, 
they called it a uh, K6. Okay. Bofang K6, that's what it was. Here's this uh, right here, dude. This is the radio. So the Bofang K6. Okay. I know nothing about it at all. <clears throat> but for your consideration, if you want to buy it, um, it looks interesting, but kind of ugly. I just, can they just, like, what, what I do like about this is there's a dedicated, uh, VFO and memory button. There's a dedicated A and B. I don't know what that other button is. So that's, like, something that you don't normally get on the Quan Shangs and stuff like that. So that's a nice touch there. Uh, it's kind of curled around on the bottom like this radio. Um, so, as you see, you're getting more keys. See so the menu. I think that adding a few extra keys to a radio never hurts. So this radio here is... Um, also, there's a package deal. This might even be a better deal, guys. For, like, $3 more... Yeah, yeah. don't buy it like that. Buy this one. Look at this. $3 more, you're going to get the programming cable and an extra antenna. Wow, that that's actually uh, pretty good. Let me click on that. Okay. So that is a Prime Day deal. The microphone is going to be junk. But look, you're getting a programming cable for $22. You know, I might actually be inclined to order this radio just because I could use another programming cable. Um, like, look at that. That is actually kind of interesting. Um, but I don't know what the hell to do with it. If it can't be, like, firmware unlocked, I mean, it looks like a, a Quan Chang. I'm going to guess it probably is. I mean, everything looks like it. Um, but, I mean, $22, what am I going to do with it? Uh, I should probably just buy a programming cable, right? It is, it is neat. It's kind of new. Um, the buttons look like they're possibly completely rubber. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if it says it, or is it plugs into the battery and not the radio. <clears throat> so, definitely worth the three extra dollars for the extra stuff that you're going to get. Also, uh, this one is one of my favorite radios, too, and it's normally $31 or something like that. Uh, let's see who's selling it. Okay. So that's a good deal on that one, $24. Um, man, the deals are looking pretty good right now for certain stuff and just not that impressive for other things. What in the hell is this? Well, they finally updated this particular radio to something new. So, I do like that screen. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, the front grille is a major fail from what it used to be, because the metal one before actually looked nice. And this just looks like cheap-ass plastic. So you have an A and B button and a VFO memory button. Um, uh firmware updatable um, so that could be kind of interesting uh, what can you update the firmware with 10 groups a uh, hundred channels a thousand channels now that right there guys that's actually pretty cool so um, man it's just so UV 5R though but uh, it could be a good radio so what do you get with it? Uh, I don't see that it's a programming cable. I'm wondering, maybe um, it's just a USB-C cable. Uh, $69. It's uh, Bofang Tech. That's why it's $69. Um, it says it's 8 watts. It might be worth checking out. See, they usually charge about $9 for a cable. So that's why I was saying, like, if you buy a radio for $22 and it comes with a cable, I mean, like, the average Bofang is $16. So that means it would be, like, $25 to basically buy one. Uh, I don't know how this is a damn UV-5R. This is an, 
This is a completely different radio as well. We have never seen this before. I have not seen this radio. If you have, that's cool, but I haven't. I like this one. So, it's pretty damn obvious that the same company is making all this crap. Okay, this looks a lot like the other radio. It says 7 bands, AM, FM, receiver. Um, that's the thing about that other one. Um, this is a nice looking radio. You got A and B, and you got VFO memory, and then you have that. $29. Um, it's got the Quan Shang type of battery pack. I wonder if it's the same. This is a nice radio. Sold by Kong Tone. Okay, it's not Amazon fulfilled yet. So you're going to have to wait for that one if you really want to order it. Okay, so if you like this radio, this is a good deal. Because it's normally $62 or $69. It's $45. Bucks. See, this one's regularly $31. When I was showing you for $24, I thought that was pretty good. $7 cable. Um, that's a pretty good deal for a cable for the most part. Man. I don't need more of these, man. What is this one? This one's different, too. The screen is completely different than the ones they've shown before. All right. And this one, why do these look different, too? You see, they're 8 watt. See, this is what I've always liked about the regular Bofang. You got AB, you got band, and you got VFO in memory. And, I mean, like, that's how it should be. You shouldn't have to, like, with this one. Um, where Where's the BFO? You know, you long press this and that. But don't get me wrong. These are great radios, and they're larger, which is nice. Um, in my opinion, but uh, yeah, some of the stuff. Oh wow, that's super cheap. Look at this, three dollars. But if it has an FTDI chip, <coughs> I don't know. It seems a little funky. I would. I I think that's a really good deal on that cable. Um, prices may vary by color. I I might have to look into that just so I can have an extra cable. Um, $23 for this one. Man. What the hell is this? Oh, GMRS. B-Tech cable. Universal. I, I wish they would make the cables like they use on the talk pod where it plugs in like a fork. And you don't have to worry about it clearing the side of the radio. You see, the thing is here, the, these, they get hung up. This is another good deal on this one. Um... So, yeah, so I ordered that one radio, the DMR-1701, because the cable, uh, without the cable, I could have bought the radio for, like, 57 bucks. But the problem was, like, nobody had the cable. And it came with some, like, stupid debris antenna like that, like, big deal. But um, it's a specific cable. So here is the UB-22. I don't know that it's really on sale. 16% coupon. I don't know much about this one. It comes with a programming cable. This is another radio on my like uh, list that I would like to check out. Um, but for $40, I'm not reviewing it. Even with 16% off. Let's see. Look at these ones here. Don't, I, don't, I don't want to review them. They're ugly. Uh, this one is ugly. It's a new screen that they're showing on these. Um, here's a regular $7 cable. This is another one I thought about, but the price is not cheap enough. I'm not reviewing it for $29. Um, you know. This one's 8 watts. This is a pretty good deal for this radio. Two batteries, microphone, programming cable, $20. I would say that's definitely not bad. Um, that microphone's garbage. Look, it comes with a, a Brie antenna. Um, if it's like any of the other ones, the front end probably overloads. So that's why I usually tell you guys not to buy the UV5Rs, even though like they're 
cool and they're cheap and a lot of us have had them. If you've never had one, just go ahead and buy one. Find one cheap, buy one. And then you can see what the whole deal is about. Here is, uh, I don't know what the RT version is. Um, it's, uh, never seen one of these. We're seeing a lot of really weird stuff. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know about that one. It's 14 bucks. Um... Here's that 1701. Maybe it's been out for a little while. So this microphone here might be okay, but the, the other one that looks like that one right there, they're not good. Not not that I've ever seen, unless they've changed them. And they may have changed them because last time I used one was quite some time ago. Here's the UV5R+. Plus. <coughs> some people say that radio's better. You can get it in different colors. Blue, red, yellow, uh, camouflage. And I think um, if that came with a programming cable, I'd buy it just because it's camouflage. But it doesn't. Okay. And this radio here, uh, I bought one. I don't know if it was like that one. There's several different versions of it. There's a UVS9 Plus, a UV Plus S or something. Yeah, you just... Hard to tell what anything is anymore. Uh, some of these have AM and FM on them. Uh, I have one of these from way back. I've dropped it a million times. It was not 8 watts, though. So. Waterproof radios. These radios here, they're kind of plasticky feeling. Um, that looks kind of nice for a microphone. Yeah, these are junk. Just, Just don't even do it. Um, this looks like junk to me. Alright, uh, so that concludes my, like, uh, Bofang, uh, 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 adventure. I don't really see, like, anything too specific in here that would, like, really float my boat. This looks like one of the newer cables. Um... This radio here, I had one of these. It wasn't bad. I don't know about that speaker. So, we've seven pages in, so we're just going to go ahead and I'll post some links to what I saw. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm definitely going to be putting out lots of videos of lots of crap, so be prepared.